the following Sunday, April 24th, is Candidate Sunday, as we heard last week. So the uh, candidate would be preaching, and then we will have a uh, called business meeting uh, to affirm the uh, uh, call of the candidate. Uh, and then a reception following. And also, it will be a Hot Cat Jazz Band Sunday. So a lot of things happening in, uh, in two weeks. And then that Saturday, April 30th at 7 o'clock, is a special choral concert featuring Novi Cantori and Voices of Consinity, which will be held in our sanctuary. And finally, uh, May 1st is not only May Day, but also Earth Sunday, where we will have a special environmental emphasis in worship as well as a film during the fellowship time. The title of the film is Just Eat It, a food waste story. So a lot of things uh, going on here at Second Baptist Church in Suffield, Connecticut. So we'll continue our worship with the lighting of the candle and the ringing of the bells. Our call to worship today comes from Psalm 118. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let us now stand and sing the hymn number 190, Tell Me the Stories of Jesus.
Let us pray. Dear Lord, open our minds to your word. Open our lips for your praise. Open our hands to share. Open our hearts to your love. We pray in the name of Jesus, who gave us this prayer to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning. Today's first reading comes from Luke 19, 28 through 40, which you can find in the New Testament on page 82. After he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who went, sent, departed, and found it as he had told them to. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. These are the holy words, thanks be to God. Good morning, happy Palm Sunday. So I don't know if any of you have ever been in, a, in an escape room. So it's a kind of a new thing and you go into the room and you have to find the clues. So I just wanna give you some advice. First of all, touch everything. You have to. Question everything, because a lot of things are not what you seem, what they seem. And bring a smart friend or else you're just gonna be in there forever. <laughs> so once a month I meet with a group of Christian ed directors and there's always a topic. It usually goes with the church calendar. So it was Palm Sunday, and somebody kind of leads it a little bit, does more research. But I knew everything I needed to know about Palm Sunday, so I did not read the passages that we were sent. So I got there. I'm like, I know, I know. I love a parade. It's all good. So I'm sitting there, and first she, she shares this. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on two donkeys, the mother donkey and the colt. And all of a sudden, didn't say a word, but I'm like, kind of like Annie Oakley in the rodeo, or? But I didn't say anything, I am just nodded, because that's what I do when I don't have a clue. And then they go on and um, the information, a lot of it that I did know, and then she goes, and there were two parades that day. And I'm like, what? I didn't say it. I started to just nod and I'm like, oh, give me a break. There were not two parades. But there were two parades on that same day. Jesus coming in on one and the Roman governor Pilate coming on the other. 
Now, Jesus was low-key, humble, meaningful, but they had horses, banners, flags, and trumpets coming in that way. But I didn't know. I was just there. So they were trying to explain this to me, and I'm like, I'm really behind, and I am so wish I had read the material. So then someone says, and in some parts of the world, they call it Pussy Willow Sunday. I'm like, all right, that is not going to fly at our church. We cannot have Pussy Willow Sunday. So I was on my way home, and just like being in that escape room, my head is going 100 miles an hour, and I'm like, wow, this is a lot of information. And I didn't know any of it. So I'm, I'm on my way home, and the way my brain works, oddly enough, is I see things in my head. So I'm trying to picture how it is and what is it that God is trying to tell me about Palm Sunday. And I'm thinking, okay, Jesus came in humbly on the donkey without a lot of fanfare. He came to, maybe it was a protest, but he came in for the people and where Pilate was all about show. And I'm like, oh, okay, then Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail pops right into my head. And I remember in that movie where they had the cups, and I'm like, yes, they picked the wooden one, remember? They didn't pick that gold one. Okay, so now we have a donkey, and I got a wooden cup, and I'm on the way home, it's like an hour drive, and I'm like, wait a minute, that kung fu show with the little grasshopper, and I'm like, I know, this is what it is. This is what God is trying to tell me. It's not about wanting all this, uh, everything that everybody else has. It's about being satisfied with what we have and looking to Jesus for love. And a lot of us get so wound up on what everybody has and why I don't have it, and now I have too much and I should have less, and just take a deep breath, because I think Palm Sunday sets the whole beginning of the journey. And it's about getting in touch with what's really important, what God provides for us every single day, the hope. So as we begin our journey into Easter, remember that there's hope. There's hope for all of us. And it comes in the humblest, tiniest little ways. Thank you. And the kids and I can go out because we're having an Easter egg hunt one week early.
Dear God, we offer these, our gifts, to you for your service. May they be used in the service of your kingdom. We pray. Just before um, worship, someone was giving me a, uh, uh, a good report concerning uh, Lynn Remington that she is uh, progressing. Indeed, uh, I see uh, a couple of people that we have prayed for uh, here, Carol Meyer and also uh, Peter Doss. So be, be assured of our prayers uh, for you all. We continue to lift up uh, members of our congregation who are ill. Also, uh, we consider the international situation, especially the uh, war in Ukraine. After a moment of silence, and then I will lead us into uh, our pastoral prayer. Let's pray. O oh, dear God of palm and passion, we remember these days, the days of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, and we say, along with the crowd there, Hosanna. But we are also aware that the crowd called crucify him at the end of the week. We are aware of our tendency to praise and to condemn. Forgive us, and we pray that we can praise you in all things, in all circumstances, knowing that you will triumph. We thank you for the progress which Lynn Remington has. We thank you for the presence here of Peter Doss and Carol Myers. We thank you for the presence of each person and the gifts that each brings. We lift up those in Ukraine who are fighting on both sides. We pray that there may be a quick resolution to this conflict. We lift up those who are ill among us we pray that they may know your love and our love for them. We pray for the candidate. Prepare them and prepare us for a new chapter in this church's history. We place ourselves in your service as we relive the events of that week in Jerusalem, triumphal entry, action in the temple, the supper between the disciples and Jesus, crucifixion, burial. May they, may the memory of those events draw us closer to you. We, thankful, we are thankful for the musicians here. We are thankful for the offering which we are to receive from their, from their lips, from their instruments. May it all draw us closer to you so that we can join in singing Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our second reading 
is found on page 197 in the New Testament. Paul's letter to the Philippians. This might have been a hymn that was sung in the early church and that um, Paul is quoting here. Listen for God's word. Philippians 2, 5 to 11, on page 197 of the New Testament. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave and being born in human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May God add blessing to the reading, the hearing, and doing of God's word. We have a last minute substitution. We're grateful to have Joanne Nelson Uncher step into play the oboe for us today in place of Kirsten Lipkins. Thank you, Joanne. We're very grateful for you today. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Hosanna! Blessed, Blessed is, is the king, king who comes, comes in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Hosanna! Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, 
and they plotted to arrest Jesus in some sly way and kill him. And one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty silver coins. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over. Jesus said, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you the truth. Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my heart is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. In the upper room, while they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. In, in remembrance, remembrance of, of Jesus. Jesus. May our attitude be the same as that of Christ Jesus. Who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. But made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death. Even death on a cross.
Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. benediction. Dear God, we raise our praises along with these musicians. We thank you for their grace, their expertise, and we lift our praises along with them as we go out to not only proclaim the word, but also be the word. In Jesus' name we pray.